this came up, oh, uh, protective film for the dashboard said, hey, that's not a bad idea. Welcome to another video. In this one, we will be installing a film protector for the dashboard on my brand new GT Tracer or Tracer GT, I should say. So join me. This is not obviously a mechanical installation. This is much more precise work. I need to make sure it fits perfectly centered and that the dash is absolutely clean. We don't want to trap any dust or any particles under the film. Uh, but then this film should protect the dashboard against scratches and dust and mud and things like that that always find its way to those things. Uh, I got this on eBay, yes. I will put a link on the description. I cannot really tell if these are good or not because I, I haven't tested obviously. So let's see how it goes and I'll show you how to install and then I guess maybe in one year or something I will do a review on these when I know for sure if they're good or not. There we go. So here's how this video is gonna go. Um, I'm not gonna show my face because it's ugly and nobody wants that. I'm gonna keep the camera focused on the dashboard. I think you can see it pretty well. Uh, and here's what I wanna do. I'm going to clean with this brush. This is a photography camera brush to clean the lenses. So I'm gonna clean it thoroughly, take all the dust out. Then next, I'm gonna use this micro Fiber? No, it's not a microfiber, but it's it's one of those little things that comes, you know, with, with sunglasses and things like that to clean the lenses, to wipe it thoroughly. And then third step, we'll be installing the film. This is a motorcycle dashboard screen protector from Speedo Angels. Like I said, I got it on eBay. This is specific for the tracer. There is an installation kit. This is like a credit card so that you can squeeze the protector in place. There's a cleaning microfiber thingy there. Uh, and then what else? Then there's two versions, I didn't remember anymore, but there is an anti-glare, which is kind of blue. I don't know, you probably, uh, maybe you can see it on the camera. It's kind of blue. And then there's an ultra clear, which is white. I think I did a good job. There was one speck of dust there that was a bit hard to take out. And now when I peel this one off, of course you can't really see anything, so you need to take my word for it, but it is installed. You can see a little bit of a bubble here. Maybe. Yeah, you can see there. It's a little bubble at the end and the stupid grain of dust managed to stay there. I cannot focus this close, but beyond that, it's absolutely perfect. You cannot tell, there's absolutely no difference from the original, but there is a layer there. You may be able to see here. Yeah, you see there, the difference between film and no film there it's very faint but there's a layer of protection there so that's it uh, I'm pretty happy with the fitting it fits perfectly it comes like I said with the ultra clear which is the one I installed and an anti glare the anti glare is bluish I think when you install you will not notice that it's blue uh, I'm not even sure if the blue is not just uh, one of those things that you peel off or if it is indeed the anti-glare film that stays there. I'm not sure, I didn't install it. So if you try it, maybe let us know in the comments. But uh, it seems a good product. I mean, the packaging is awesome. It comes with everything that you need to install, clear instructions in plenty of languages. So I am a little bit happier to know that the dashboard is protected. And if something happens, if there's a, a bit of dust or mud going there, it will be fine and if it gets scratched we take it off and put another one. I know that in the previous tracer 
people complained that it was very easily scratched so right from the beginning what I did I bought um, kind of this same film but a large one for a tablet and then I cut to size uh, and also on my XSR 900 that I have in Portugal uh, the display is also extremely prone to scratch I still have the original film from the factory it has a little tab that you can peel I didn't peel it I just kept it there because I read it was extremely prone for scratching the film itself is a little bit scratched already but underneath of course it's still protected so I'm gonna leave it there and I know there's also nowadays some uh, options on eBay to to buy these protectors so I guess um, I recommend this one uh, because it's not nice if you have a permanent scratch there you're gonna look at it all the time and it's not going to be very pretty. I hope you liked it, let me know in the comments and I'll see you on the next video.